now we talk about um, secure and unsecure information when we are register a plugin right and we register a plugin and the plugin step we have two columns secure and secure configuration so if you want to pass any values to a plugin plugin normally trigger whenever a condition is met you don't need to send any values to it but there are situation you may need to send some values to the plugins in such situation we can pass that value either here this is an unsecure configuration it can be visible to everyone and if you pass it here and secure it will be visible only to the admins so what we are will be doing here is we'll add html value we have seen that in the previous class we'll add the values as an html tag sorry not html xml tags and that tags you can read from the code okay so a plugin is nothing but a class that also we have seen here we have written public sealed class web client plugin right so since it is class it can have constructors so here we have a constructor and we have field name as config so if you are giving any secured and secured values during plugin step registration that values that you are giving as an xml tag there it will it can read it here right and if you can check whether the configuration information configuration is this par one parameter is true or false so what this plugin is basically doing is the web address to access the web address will be given as a parameter in the secure and secure configuration then the whatever url you are given there here you are checking what the value is null or not if it is not null then if it is null sorry uh, then we are che checking the web address as the bing.com otherwise whatever web address you are given here is assigned to web address in the constructor so in the using the constructor you can read the values same way if you want to read the un un uh, sec unsecured configuration also what you can do is we can read that one also here okay like this you can create one more constructor where we can read it so that's how you read the configuration then you can this plugin is not doing much it's just reading the data from that web address and it is showing somewhere that's it and it's writing it to the trace that's what it is doing so this example is all about just to show how to read from the secured and unsecured using the constructor So this is how you will pass the values. Yeah. Setting name is one parameter. Value, We're giving a value to that one. Then setting name, full name, the value, Vivek. Like that you are creating tags, value. While you create, uh, registering the plugin stuff. And within the plugin code, you can see plugin configuration. Right? This is a plugin. And this is a plugin config that is nothing but the constructor. You are taking two parameters unsecured string and secure string. Then you are checking whether what are um, null, not null. Then what you are doing is this is the way you read an XML file. This is the code to read an XML in .NET. You will make an XML document class. Then you will load that XML using doc you are creating an xml document load the xml document that is whatever you have given here the entire string is a xml string right that you are reading it then from this uh, plugin configuration dot get configuration that is you are basically reading it from the plugin configuration so plugin configuration other class that they have created that is not given over here so we are reading the values from this xml document contact GUID so that information will be given here contact GUID is one parameter name right then second one is full name so you are reading that information right from this XML document 
plugin configuration dot get configuration GUID from this hexagonal document you are reading this value same way you are getting the contact full name is giving the key as full name mobile number and all this you are reading so like that you can read the information that you have given in the plugin secure and secure configuration okay so then you can use that information for anything so this is how you will pass some parameter in order to your CRM system cool so, so this example giving detailed plugin code also here so you can try that one out